Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks again for watching. We really appreciate everyone that's been watching the channel. All the guys have gone home for the day except for Corey. Corey's on the other side. He's going to give me a hand tonight. Corey helps me quite a bit at night or on a weekend or whenever I need an extra hand doing anything. He's an awesome welder, awesome fabricator. He's going to help me tonight with Mark's Outlaw 632 car, which we'll show you here in a few minutes. It's a really nice nickel car. We're going to do an anti-roll bar in it. Set of zoomies, we gotta fit a seat, mount a scoop, some other small stuff so they can get that thing on a track. But for tonight, all we're gonna do is cut the zoomies down, polish the zoomies, we're gonna weld the tips on. And then while Corey's here, I wanna get him to help me show you guys some stuff with some 4130. We've had some people ask about that. We're not gonna go into great depth about it. We'll cut a few pieces, we'll notch them, we'll clean them, we'll show you that. Also, Corey has a different style of welding than I do, so I want to show you the differences. Neither one of them are better than the other, it's just a different style. He'll weld one joint and I'll weld the other joint. Also, half the joint that I do will be 045 wire and the other half will be 16th. He'll do the same on his, so you can see the difference in that too. Usually the 045 wire we use on smaller tubing or thinner wall tubing. Some of the 058, 049, we even use some 035, so... That's good with the 045, even 035 sometimes. Usually on the inch and 5 eighths, 083, we use 16th, but you can use 045. You just have to feed it a lot quicker and a lot more often. So we'll show you all that. Let's get over there and we'll get with Corey and show you guys some stuff. All right, we're done working on Mark's car for the night. We got the tips welded on the zoomies, got the zoomies cut down, got them all polished up. So Corey's been helping me at night work on this car. We're gonna get the headers knocked out. We gotta do an anti-roll bar, some other stuff. But we're gonna, we've had a lot of people ask about the chromoly welding and just some, some processes on how to weld it, put it together, notch it, clean it. So we're gonna go over there and we're gonna notch a few pieces. We're gonna show you how we notch it, clean the inside, uh, prep the tube, we polish all the tubes. So we're gonna do that and I'll weld one and Corey will weld one. If it makes me look bad, I probably won't post it. So <laughs> we're gonna give that a shot and we'll show you how we do it. All right, we have our tubes prepped and notched. We polished them. We're gonna clean them up here in a second. Obviously, you can see we cleaned all the burrs out of the inside. You don't want the weld to pull anything through the backside, so I always wipe around the edge with acetone on the inside also, just to keep from contamination coming through the backside. Always make sure you wipe down your uh, welding rods as well. 
um, any storage containers you have, you'll get uh, dust and contamination and stuff. Um, obviously, when you're working on something really nice, you want everything as clean as possible. It's going to take any of the user error out of it. Which we'll have plenty of that in, oh, the, yeah. in the weld. <laughs> also, these things here are awesome. We have a bunch of them around the shop. You put acetone in them, fill them up with some air pressure, and they seem like they last forever. So that's a pretty nice deal for the acetone. We're going to tack these together, and then we're going to weld half of the joint with 045 and half of the joint with 16th, which depending on your fit and the wall thickness, you could use either or your welding style. But we'll, we'll do both. He, he's got a little different welding style than I do, and you'll see that. But we're each going to do half and half with a different weld wire and, and show you what that looks like. This is 083 tubing. Usually I run it at about 100, which gives me a little more than I need, which sometimes you need on the sides. You'll need a little bit more than you will up here. So we, we run about 100, and, and we'll have a little more pedal than we need. So Try to make the tacks as small as possible, so when you run back over the tacks, you can't see that there was a tack there. Obviously in the cars we build, it's really hard to get to some of the tubes and out of position. But when you have the opportunity to have something in front of you, the biggest thing is, is to be comfortable. Put your hand where you're gonna start and make sure you can get to where you're trying to stop. You wanna keep just a little bit of angle, if not straight. I keep as little angle as possible and I keep the tungsten, the arc gap as tight as possible. I'm gonna start with the 16th welding wire. I'm gonna weld this half and then I weld the other half with the 045. On this side, I'm gonna use the 045. See the difference in that? guys I brought the pieces in here because we didn't have very good lighting on the other side so I wanted to show you kind of the differences between Corey's weld and my weld I just run a little bit farther in between each dab which is fine a little bit tighter dabs are fine as long as the weld size is adequate and not a bunch of undercut and stuff like that so you can see there's not a bunch of heat lines uh, heat affected zone isn't way out here it's not all burnt it's not gray color is pretty good so this side was with a 16th weld wire and this side's with the 045 weld wire you can see the difference the weld's just a little smaller with the 045 you have to add a lot more rod so that's the reason for the weld being a little bit smaller which is fine on the smaller tubes the 3 8 the half inch some of the thinner wall tubing the 049 the 035 that's usually what we use the 045 even 035 sometimes on a small stuff for body mounts and stuff like that but anyways that's about it for this. I just want to show you a little piece. We'll do some more on this kind of stuff, but hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching.
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.